What's up guys, welcome to another Build and Break and Garage episode. Today, we put the motor from that car into that car. So the tow truck is on its way to come pick up the hunk of shell that is the last remnants of the turbo car. It took me a little bit longer because I had to apply for a new title, but we got the title in today and now it's going away. So that's a good thing. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently juggling cars around, trying to get the wife's car into the garage so that way I don't have to freeze my ass off because it's really freaking cold outside. If you can see, we have snow. The first snowfall happened last night, so yeah, it's a little bit cold out here. So I'm gonna go get the car in the, in the garage and start it warming up and then uh, we start to work. So I'll check in with you guys once uh, that all starts happening. So got the car in the garage, as you can see behind me. Uh, now the next thing to do is to get it up in the air and to basically start doing everything we did about two weeks ago, again, to the same car. Yeah, hopefully this is the last time I have to swap the motor in this car because I can't take another one. I, like, it just, this really sucks. But this motor is, I mean, this motor survived 12 pounds of boost for like two years. It still doesn't burn any oil or nothing, so knock on wood. That thing should be indestructible, hopefully. Especially with the way that she drives, because she drives very conservatively, unlike me. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing up in the air, and then we're gonna start pulling the front end apart. All right, guys, well, uh, jump ahead in time. I didn't film a whole bunch of it, because, I mean, I'm just sick of doing this at this point. It's the same thing over and over. But, uh, yeah, so, motor is out of the car again. And we ended up prepping the other motor to go in, so. Now it's just a matter of swapping the subframe over, swapping the trans over to the new motor, boring stuff, but uh, it needs to be done, so I'm gonna get cracking on it, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm getting ready to put the motor back in. So, yeah, I got on a bit of a roll and pretty much got the car done. So, the motor is in the car. Since the accident broke a bunch of the exhaust studs off, I have to go to the store tomorrow and get some Healy coils, and make it so that way uh, I can bolt the new manifold back on. Yeah, motor's in the car, trans is all swapped. I did everything myself. Uh, I had people over just can't kind of keep me company, but other than that, I did this whole thing by myself in one day. I'm pretty proud of myself, not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, I even made the trans, everything by myself, so that's pretty cool. I'll take you guys along as we Healy coil the head and make sure that we get the manifold on and then I'll show you a finished car, so stay tuned. On to day two now. I already ran to the store and got so I got Healy coil kit, so that way I can get the new studs in, which I got the new studs here, and the right size drill bit to go with the Healy coil kit. Yeah, let's get these studs uh, drilled out and get some new studs in. I'll let you guys know once uh, that happens. So, yeah, uh, I didn't film a whole lot on this one. I just wanted to get it done, I guess, that bad, so I didn't stop and film. Jump forward to Monday. It's all done. Uh, just went and got the exhaust put on it. It needs wheel bearings really bad up front, but those will be taken care of in a week or so. Car's running great, not leaking any oil. I'm gonna hand it off to the wife this week or uh, tomorrow. So uh, I get my car back tomorrow. So yay. Thank you for watching this really crappy video uh, if you've made it this far. I promise the next one will be a lot better. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you on the next one.